up guys how are you doing today is tayo i know here again and today i'm going to be showing you one of the best vacation houses in the whole of south africa currently we're in camps bay which is in cape town and you guys know camps bay is home to some of the best luxury real estate in africa so first of all let's start with the exterior of this property where i'm currently at is the garage this is a three car garage all these doors open up come along with me let me show you my vacation house in camps bay cape town we're walking across a wooden set case that has an awesome pond beneath and inside that pond is koi fish you know koi fish is from japan i think i stand to be corrected you won't really see a lot of them here and if you notice around where i am it's kind of like a mini garden there are lots of plants which gives you this feeling like you're surrounded by nature and if you look just on this side just before we leave here there's 24 hour cctv camera here so walking down, we have our first outdoor spot. You can see it has eight chairs. So this house is really big, it's really massive. By the time we go inside, you'll see more. But this is probably where, you know, you can come out in the morning on this patio and have coffee with your friends and your family. Sadly, my family is not here. If not, they would have enjoyed this awesome experience. There's a lot of stuff I want to show you that's on the exterior of this property. But let's start with the interior first. First off, on my right, you have kind of like your mini office space inside your house. When the pandemic happened, a lot of people were working from home. This would be a cool space to work from home and also a cool space to edit my videos because, you know, I need to give you guys good stuff. Just behind me is the, what I call it like a cinema room. It's a really nice area where you can sit down with your friends and watch Netflix. And as you can see, as I entered here, it's fully rocked. So the sound is way, way, way better. And another cool part too, just look at here. They have this sliding window panels that allow a lot of light to come in so it makes the space look way bigger than it actually is as you can see from out there let's head out as we head out we're walking into the kitchen area this is an open plan kitchen as always very spacious like i can go around it i was frying eggs this morning when i woke up and these are all my condiments for those who i don't know i know how to cook let me show you a clip of me cooking that's one of the coolest parts about waking up in such a beautiful villa like this. You can just wake up, you know, head to the kitchen and fry some egg. I don't think you guys have seen me cooking on this channel before, though. I'm a very bad cook. I used to have a restaurant before, by the way, in case you don't know. So now, all the shelves here for everything. Uh, you pull all of this out. And also on that side too, all the cabinets, really nice wood. And then we have the gas burner. So now we have a dining table that seats 10 people. Like I said earlier, this house is for a big family who is coming on a vacation. Or maybe you have plenty of money to spend and you're just like one single person. Or maybe two people, maybe you and you just want absolute privacy in a very big space and you want to splodge, you can get this house. <laughs> so just on this side, as you can see, there's the kitchen here and the kitchen is not far from the table for people like me who are always hungry the food is just here you just put it here so it's fast now here is one of the best things he said even in the bible jesus turned water to wine and for those people who like alcohol like me this is a wine cellar and all your wines you can store them down here and for me one of the best things i like about this feature in this house is that these lights they had this kind of like mood light into the house so at night it looks way different than it actually is because you can't really see the light as much so let's walk down into it's like this house just keeps going down 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 i've gone down like three or four steps now i'm still going down more steps This is the main family living room and guys check out how massive it is currently it's winter now and there's a fireplace that's definitely you can use to warm yourself what's one thing you notice here there's no tv everything here is just done to make the space look really nice and when i look at the space i'm getting this old african vibe it's like i'm in the serengeti and that's because of the nude color scheme and as you can see here yeah definitely everything matches with the wood with the quills and then there's this really beautiful mirror inside mirror mirror on the wall who is the fairest of them all it's tired, you know? So wait guys, one of the best things about this house in all areas is the remarkable view. I'm going to show you the view more from outside but just check it out with me. This view right here, this is Lion's Head. This is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Cape Town, South Africa. And yeah, definitely all these doors open up to allow a lot of light in. Also to allow people to move in between the indoor area and the outdoor area which we're going to check out very soon. So let's go upstairs to where all the rooms are. 
And if you notice this house, I don't know what I would call it like an African inspired house. In every place, there's something that gives you or represents this whole African vibe. Like, look at this here. What do you guys think this is? This is the skull of a giraffe. And also here, you can see all the paintings, everything is done to represent and give that African feel. So yeah, let's go upstairs. I think for me, one of the reasons I love Cape Town is the architecture of the buildings. It's like the people who build here, they take a lot of things into consideration. It's like you stretch your hand and things just feel like they're there. Now we have the kind of like a lounge area. If you have a lot of friends, you don't go downstairs, you can just chill here. One of the cool parts about this space is that there's a glass panel up here that allows a lot of light from outside to come into the space. And this house has five bedrooms, by the way, four bedrooms upstairs, and then there's a single guest bedroom downstairs. It's been a while I've done house tours, and the reason I stopped doing a lot of house tours was because I was not inspired inspired by a lot of houses, especially a lot of houses that have explored across Africa. I love being, you know when you're in a space and you're just inspired by the space, you just want to keep talking and talking and talking. And yeah, let's talk about the bathroom. Nice wood surfaces. This is the vanity. It's a very long vanity for him and her, for Boo and what's the opposite of Boo? B. B. <laughs> and obviously a bathtub here, you see? More light coming in. Makes the space look bigger, makes the space look nicer. Definitely shower on this side. And now, let's walk into the room. This has the African inspired vibe. Really nice hanging, what I call it, hanging light. And also mirrors. They use a lot of mirrors in this house. Makes you feel like you're in multiple spaces, but it's still the same space. And it also makes the space look bigger. Big ass mirrors combined with a lot of sliding window panels. Makes a lot of light come into the space and makes it look bigger than it actually is. So light is coming from this direction and it's also bouncing into the room. So it makes it look really great. On this side here, you have the view of the outdoors and also view of lion's head. As you can see, this right here, I'm saving it for later when we go outside, but this is an office space. But let's go and check out, you know, the other rooms that are left in this property. There's also the visitor's toilet upstairs. The toilet is so clean, I'm drinking tea in it. And now here we have the second room, I think the way they design all the rooms, some rooms might look smaller, but they designed it in a way where everything has like different elements that makes them unique from one another. This one has this whole bluish thing going on. And also all the rooms are rugged. This is top room, by the way. <laughs> so if you see anything that is scattered, it's because of him. <laughs> so yeah, this is the toilet right here. It has like, it's just long. And also you can see they use glass again to bring in light from outside. So here there's a balcony that opens up and you can get a really beautiful view of the ocean at Camps Bay. I eventually plan on having enough money to buy a house here. One day, come and retire here and just not think about all the stress and all the problems that I have as an African living in Africa. On this side, I don't know whether they're bronze mirrors. If you look at many of the elements in this house, when you really look at it, you know that they are very expensive. There's a table downstairs that is like 80,000 rand. So if you come to this house and you stay in this house, you know, you have to be very careful with everything. If not, you reject the sale. If you break something, you pay money. So on here is the third room. As you can see, this one also has a different element from the first and second one. It's like they took different artists to come and design all the houses. Like just check out this headboard here. It looks like a painting. And this one also has the nude vibe going on. You can see all across the house, there's this nude feel. I think it's only that room that I just kind of like saw blue, but everywhere in the house there's this nude feel. There's too many elements in this house. And if I keep talking about every single element, this video is going to be like 12 hours long. I'm just trying to skip most of them. On this side, yeah, definitely there's a bedroom. And here they kind of like have this, what I call it sauna feel going on. I don't enter showers. All my showers, you stand up in them. But this one is like, they want you to sit down and even stretch your leg and put the laptop here. As you can see, the shower is here. We put the I don't know. I don't know what they want you to be doing inside this place, yeah. Maybe I have a couple ideas of what can be done here because of the space, but I don't know. I'll leave that to your imagination. There's a view here, but I don't want you to see the whole view yet. You can just see the view out, because I'm going to come to this place via the master suite, which is where we're going to now. Guys, I always love to save the best for the last. This is the master suite. 
this is one of the biggest rooms I've had to stay in. This is my room, obviously. It's so sad that Bay is not here. You know, this kind of house, you need to have women in the house. That's what makes the house a home. You can't just be alone inside this kind of house. It's so boring. But yeah, first of all, you know, when I came into this space, I didn't even know where the wardrobe was. Because I was like, where's the wardrobe? Where's the wardrobe? Because this looked like a wall to me. Then I realized that it had handles. And now this is the wardrobe. See how they blended it into the space. You don't even know that there's a wardrobe there. And it also follows the, you know, the greenish vibe. Now this room is green with this really big ass bed. And behind the bed, you can have a view of the seven, is it seven apostles? But you can have a view of the mountains. And it was really foggy this morning. Also, there's a sitting area here. This way I was editing earlier in the day. And now let's move into the bathroom. Just check this out right here, guys. Just, just look at this. Let me, let me do my normal style. Ha, ha. Just, just look at, I mean, look at this life. Let, show them, show them the view. Show them the view here. Why would you watch this video and not hustle harder in life? Because even coming to this house, I'm like, ah, I need to work hard. See the view. If you're waking up to this view every morning, just think about the thoughts that will be in your head. I can sit down here for the next five hours. Of all the places in this house, this is one of my most favorite places. This bathtub right here. Ah, oh, God. Life is good. Okay, let's continue the tour. On this side definitely is the vanity and here is kind of like a similar well, I call it like a shower just like the first one and everywhere across this room is the glass so you don't miss out on the view behind you they want you to experience all the views the one in front of you the one behind you all the views sha you must enjoy every single one and also here is the toilet so now for the review this is the big review of this house. Okay, before I show you the big review, first of all, let me show you because a lot of people might be like, okay, because of this view from here, won't everybody in the bush be seeing you? They thought about that. Don't worry. They thought they thought about everything. You can just pull this down. If I'm here, I'll leave it open. Anybody that wants to see anything, they should see it. That's their own problem. So now let's go out. See the big review out here. Guys, check this out. Check out the view. Woo! Take it in, take it in. Are you taking it in? On this side right here is the beautiful Calms Bay Beach. The view here is one of the best I've ever seen from any of the properties I've ever thought. And I think also, just to note, this house is also one of the best, if not the best, that I've actually thought on this channel. From up here, you can see a lot of stuff. From this spot, this is where you get the best view of Lion's Head. And you can see a lot of greenery. Imagine waking up to this. It's just like you are in the middle of the forest. On this other side, definitely, is the ocean. So if you're tired of looking at this, you turn this way and then you look at this. Also, look at how big this balcony is. Let me run to the last end. It's like half of the whole house. So it's like the whole house is so big. And yeah, let's talk about some of the external features from here. All the way from up here, you can see the pool, which we're going to check out now. And there's also a garden. So definitely watch this video to the end, because I'm going to be revealing a lot of secrets and really awesome features about this property. So guys, the next part is to tour the exterior of this building. And to make that happen, I'm going to pass it to my brother down there. What's up guys? This is Tyus brother speaking and reporting from the exterior of this property. First of all, let's talk about this awesome pool. It's cold as fuck because it's winter. I know where to swim, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do for the content. Apart from that, let's also talk about this open plan space. There's too much stuff to discuss in this house. There's so much happening at the same time. First of all, there's this part where it's kind of like an open area for families to eat and to also probably grab coffee in the morning. Also on this side, there's this open area here and there's this brother right here. I don't know what is happening, but it seems Apple gave him these earphones. Say hi to my brother right here. What's up, bro? He's just hanging out, chilling. <laughs> here, maybe after taking a dive in the pool, you can sit down here and enjoy a view of Lion's Head. Or you can sleep off like me. This chair is kept for a special somebody in my life, but she's not here right now. Let's go. I think one of another reason why I stopped in house tours too is also 
Because it gets very tiring. This house is so big that I have to take a little breather. So now, this part of this tour, I'm going to be sitting down and doing it with you. First of all, guys, check out this amazing fireplace. This fireplace is really, really nice. This is a place where, no matter how cold it gets, there's a chimney here. And there's also a place where you can fry meat. One of the things they love eating in South Africa is fry. They love meat so much here. Above us is the office space. So yeah, let's go and check it out. This office I want to show you, it's one of a kind. You've not seen it in any house before. You have to pass under this tree to get to the office. And the office has one of the most remarkable views in this house. And now we climb up this wooden stairs. There's just proper planning. First off on this side is the toilet. So you don't need to go into the house if you want to ease yourself. Now guys, check out this office space. Look at how clean it is. Everything is white. And then there's this chair right here where you can grab an amazing view of Cam's Bay Beach. Just check it out. And also, earlier in the morning, I saw a lot of squirrels running up and down this tree. So being here is like, you're surrounded by nature at all times. Right here is where you do a lot of work. Imagine I was seated down. Let me sit down on my invisible chair, like all those Chinese people. So I sit down here, and I'm just, you know, editing. Ah, there'll be so much inspiration. I'm sure this office space is good for artists, it's good for composers. It's good for anybody who is in the creative field because the view alone will give you all the inspiration you need. You don't even need a muse. The view is your muse. It also opens up and you can step out and see the beautiful view. This is most of the house, but there's one last thing left, which is the garden area and also the underground bedroom, which is the guest bedroom. So let's go downstairs now. I told you earlier that this house just keeps going down and now I'm walking down again but thankfully this is the last stage this is the final level of this house see the whole house is above me and now it's like I'm going to somewhere that is below ground level and I think that is also because Cam's Bay is built on a hill so all the buildings are sloping downwards out here is the garden area where if you have kids you can play this place is like a different apartment on this one. It's like an apartment below the house. And I'm sure if you have a lot of guests, because it's a five bedroom property, four bedrooms upstairs for the main family, and an external bedroom where you can keep your guests, your baby, you know, somebody comes to visit you and they just want peace and quiet, you can keep them here. And it's like, they are not even part of the house. And they also share many of the benefits you have, like this view of Lion's Head, they also share it from here. Let's go in. So guys, on this side is the back of the property. This video is not sponsored by Castle Lager though. I'm just having one because I've been talking too much. And my throat is paining me already, so I need to cool it down some beer. But Castle Lager, you can holler at me. I like your products. You can make a deal. This is the laundry room where most of the laundry from the house. As you can see, there was no laundry room in the kitchen. So they kept the laundry room here. So obviously, if you're living here, you have living maids and living people who are working for you. So this is where they wash your clothes. Now, let's check out the secret room in this house. It's not even a room, it's an apartment. And that's the floor, that's the ground level. You can see the way they put you know, glass panels there so that a lot of light comes in and it doesn't look claustrophobic. First off, on this side is really nice chairs. Like, I don't even know what these chairs are called, but they are really nice wooden chairs for four people. On this side right here, it's kind of like a small kitchenette area where you can wash stuff. And I'm sure here would probably be, yeah, like I said, you know, toaster, all the things that somebody who is living here might need. This house, they should just give me this ground floor. I'm fine with it, it looks really nice. Let's check out the room, the bedroom itself. When you come down here, you think it's gonna be one very small tiny place and there's also a third place to sit down here where you can also walk from it's like i should have made this final bedroom a separate tour on its own check out how really nice the beds are you can see what the materials they use for the headboards it just looks very nice and here obviously you climb upstairs to get access to the bathroom so this one is kind of like minimalist where you do number two your shower and then the vanity on this side this house is really 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 big <laughs> Here, you can walk outside again and you can have lunch, you can have whatever with your friends and you can also go and use the pool and also come and lay down here. So guys, I think that concludes the tour. So let's head back to the top floor. So guys, we have finally hit 400,000 subscribers and it's all thanks to you guys. Shout out to everyone out there. The theme is Rediscover Africa. We're trying to showcase Africa in the best light possible. So thank you guys for your support. Currently, the price of this villa, it starts from 12,000 rand and it goes all the way to 60,000 rand in the summer. <laughs> if you're coming in the summer, you're going to pay more money. And if you're coming in the winter, you're going to pay less money. But yeah, shout out to Sea Sky Villa. They were the ones who 
gave me this place to stay for a couple days. Also, my experience so far in Cape Town has been amazing. It has been awesome. I think Cape Town is one of my most favorite places to come to in Africa. There are so many places to explore, so many things to do. I didn't even get to do half of all the things that I'm meant to do. Oh, that's the lion's head right there. And we're meant to hike up it, but there wasn't enough time because I have to head back to Johannesburg and back to Nigeria very soon. Thank you for watching this video as always. I have more videos coming soon. So if you like this video as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Subscribe to the channel. See where we are climbing to take Tom See at the edge. Subscribe. <laughs>